we said that those uh, amendments uh, that were recommended uh, by the Committee on Finance uh, were not good enough. <clears throat> and therefore, our view was that the bill should have been withdrawn altogether for a fresh bill to be introduced. A fresh bill that would be responsive to the plight of the majority of Kenyan people. However, you know that uh, the Kenya Kwanza uh, team uh, used their numbers to push through the bill uh, at the second reading stage in the National Assembly. We are now therefore proceeding to the third reading stage, essentially the committee of the whole house uh, on Tuesday uh, morning. Uh, consequentially, a number of members have also uh, brought up uh, various amendments. I'm aware that uh, uh, some of the new uh, members of parliament have also uh, uh, brought forth some amendments which they have already filed with the office of the clerk. Uh, some of those amendments basically touch on those areas that had not been addressed by their committee. Uh, uh, especially the matter of the enhancement of the uh, railway development levy, uh, the import uh, declaration of fan, okay, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, therefore, the amendments uh, which have been filed are basically aimed at uh, further addressing the issues that are of concern of the people. We also know that the committee had recommended in its report an increment in the uh, road maintenance uh, fuel levy uh, of Kenya shillings 9 per liter, which would essentially make uh, the price of fuel, or the cost of petroleum products generally, uh, uh, too exorbitant uh, for the common person and should have a ripple effect in the economy, in the, in all the sectors of the economy. <laughs> so where we are, as a new, and bearing in mind that we had set out to reject the report uh, in its entirety, uh, because for us the report was flawed ab initio, we have allowed our members to file the, 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 the amendments, but ask them to wait for final instructions uh, before the House uh, sits uh, on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. Uh, we are undertaking very deep consultations within ourselves as a coalition uh, to be able to come up with the uh, final strategy on how to deal with this very, very, very disturbing uh, piece of legislation. So uh, we ask our members and the general public to be patient uh, and wait for a further directive, which will come definitely before uh, Tuesday the, uh, next week at 9.30 a.m. I don't have the total number of amendments, uh, the figure in my uh, offhead. Yes, uh, but they are running in tens, definitely. Uh, they are quite uh, substantial. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, Tuesday is just here with us. Let's just wait and, and see what action will do flow uh, from Tuesday going forward. I'm also aware that the general public are also definitely agitated and I'm seeing groups uh, preparing for further action next week. So we are basically looking at a, an action pact 